If you consider the seventh worst viewer number in history as good news, and last night was very realistic to consider, Raw came out well against strong competition. Last night's show, 1.69 million viewers and a 0.52 rating in 18 to 49, going up against the Kansas City Chiefs versus New England Patriots. Raw finished 44th on cable for the night, which is likely its lowest finish ever due to the huge ratings for cable news. Raw was behind three football-related shows, the baseball game, and two shows on TLC as far as total viewers, as well as 37 new shows. 37 new shows, my God. At 18 to 49, Raw was 6th behind the four sports broadcasts and 90-day finance. Texting Mike Sempervivi to tell him to contact Tony here. Raw had a strong first hour, fell in hour two. Hour three built around Drew McIntyre <clears throat> and the Street Profits versus Randy Orton, Robert Rude, and Dolph Ziggler. Fell, but still had to be considered a well above expectations given the competition. Raw was down 8% in total viewers from last week for a show boosted by coming after a pay-per-view and all of the legends being there. It was down 5% in 18 to 49, 9% in 18 to 34. As compared to the same week one year ago, Raw was down 28% in viewers, 31% 18 to 49, 43% in 18 to 34. As far as the first to third hour declines, the show was down 13% in women 18 to 49, 12% in men at 12 or 18 to 49, 25% in teenage girls, and up for 5% in teenage boys, down 9% in over 50. The three hours, 1.79 million, 1.67 million. And 1.60 million. So here's my take on this. And I guess we'll find out. So last week, they were going up against strong competition. And the show ended up doing a good number. And so everybody was looking at why. Why did they not die against football? And Dave's theory was they announced those legends right before the show went on the air. There were suggestions that it was because it came right after the pay-per-view. Maybe that's why everybody tuned in. And so going up against two strong football games and the M MLB on Monday, as we talked about yesterday, I figured one of two things was going to happen, and I was hardly going out on a limb. One was that it would do the all-time record low, and two, it was going to do all right. And my theory as to why it might do all right is I said, I think that we're at the bottom of the barrel here. Now, on our message board, Dave, very much against this theory that we're in the bottom of the barrel. And he noted that, you know, the 1.5 million viewers, 1.1 rating for Impact. I mean, what is Impact doing now? It's not doing 1.5 million viewers. And he is correct. It is, however, on a different network now. And let's put it this way. Do I feel that Raw, in a year, could be lower than it is right now? Yes, obviously. I don't think that we've hit the bottom, and no matter what happens, we can't go any lower. But I will say, when I believe that we're at the bottom of the barrel, what I mean by that is, I think that we are down to only the hardcores. And there are virtually zero casual fans watching professional wrestling. And I say that because, once again, there was zero impact going head-to-head -head with football. Every year, Raw's down 20 to 25% going up against the NFL. This year, they have not been affected. Not for one week have they been affected. And we had two big games and the MLB on Monday night, and they were down, you know, they were down a little bit. But, I mean, this number here, 1.69 million viewers, this was not the all-time record low. So I believe that we are largely down to the hardcore viewers. And obviously, you can run off the hardcores. I mean, we've we've seen hardcores run off for years. So yes, it can go lower than this. But I do believe that as far as casual viewers of pro wrestling, I don't know if we have any at this point. I mean, if you look at the, the number here, 1.69 million, I mean, that is a little bit above what unopposed AEW and NXT do. So it seems to me that, like, AEW and NXT, you combine them. Raw, SmackDown. I mean, I think we're right around... I mean, maybe SmackDown is a few more casual viewers because it's on Fox on Friday night. But, I mean, I could be totally wrong. I could be out to lunch. But I have no other good explanation 
for why this show is now holding up against football, and it never has before. What did they announce for this past Monday? A six-man tag? They didn't announce any legends. They weren't coming off a pay-per-view. They just had a show. And going up against very, very strong competition, this show did 1.69 million viewers. So, yeah, a year from now, next year, and maybe at 1.49 million. Maybe at 1.41 million. I don't know. But I think that at this moment, I mean, this is where it's going to be for a while. That's my feeling. And we'll find out if I'm wrong here in coming weeks. But man, if they weren't affected this past Monday with nothing advertised and very strong competition, I don't know what's going to happen to drop them even lower.